In this video, we will focus on the requirements for mentorship. So now, your next step is to examine the suitability of the company for performing the apprenticeship. This analysis has to be done once you and the supervisor identify and accept activities to be performed. There are several areas for the examination in your company. Do you have the human resources for it? Are you available? Is there interest in the company? Is there willingness in the company? Do you have the necessary equipment? Can your company adapt for the developing the apprenticeship? Can you be flexible enough? Are you fulfilling the condition required for mentorship with those existing in the company? You, as a mentor, are the key person for the apprentice in the company. Therefore, you have to focus on the elements supporting a safe environment and creating an open relationship with an apprentice. This helps with the future cooperation with your apprentice. Besides that, there are several requirements for you as a mentor that demand up-to-date professional experience and knowledge from the field of work and as well as specific competencies. You, as a mentor, have to have enough previous experience in the job to be able to act as a mentor. Be aware of the importance of your role in the development of the mentoring. Know the company policy in the reference to health and safety, environmental and recycling policy. Use your communication skills at your best. And be kind. Make sure that your company is providing up-to-date theoretical training also for the you to be a qualified mentor. You as a mentor should be trained as well provided with relevant certificate if possible. When you, as participants, finish the training, you can be in the mentor database with defined interim conditions. Finally, make sure that the placement with the apprentice can be easily monitored with your company, so your company can benefit to full capacities.